This is for you, David Knight. There's the part number for the grommet. And then I'm gonna use this little plastic tool that's kind of got a little hook on it there and a little bit of petroleum jelly. You're also gonna need, at least I am, some tape. Let's go. There's the fuel tank and cap. There's the other side. You can see where that lip is. First, I'll remove the cap. That's where it's cut right now. You can see that little cut, maybe, I don't know. I think yeah, I can probably just push this back out. Maybe, let's see, where's that other one here? I'm not actually looking. Yeah, you can push it off of there. There we go. You can see it's coming out. I'm trying to like do it, you know, so you guys can see it. That's all. <laughs> so a closer look, you know, at how this is, this just fits on top. This one, the one top just lays over. It's the one on the bottom that's like got a double lip. Petroleum jelly. You can use grease or whatever you want to use. It doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to get that inner lip. So when it goes to pop on, that inner lip can go right on over that lip. Now I've changed those cameras around to make it easier for me to see. <laughs> no, that's not true. The reason is, is because in that last shot, I noticed when I took the cap off, it looked like that, that filler tube wasn't in the center. So I wanted to reposition the camera. You know, that's how anal I am. Uh, but you can see it's very well centered. So that's gonna make it easier to install. I see some vehicles that are not centered. You know, if you've got an aftermarket and all that kind of stuff, you know, you're stuck with it. I'm also just gonna put a little bit of petroleum jelly all along this edge, just to make it easier to go on. I'm really concerned more about that edge, right? I don't wanna catch anything, nothing like that. Also, I'm gonna put some petroleum jelly around this. And now we'll just put it on, get it over that first. And then really the key is to try to find an edge and get it in there to begin with. It, it's, it'll be tedious. Once you can get something to catch, like I'm starting to catch now, then it's just a matter of pushing it in from the other side and letting it crawl up that just like that. You'll see, I can see that it's, it's crawling and I can feel it, so there it is. This side's just about done. Did you hear it? I just kind of wipe it down. You can reach up, you know, even up behind actually, and you can feel it and you can see that it's all the way seated. If I can show you, I would. Um, but I can feel that it's all the way out like it's supposed to be. Perfect. Well, that's how I did it, you guys. And then once you get it, you can start spinning it even. And you can see that it's on there all the way around. That's another reason why you want to put some petroleum jelly on there. If you haven't all done already, you can see my other video on replacing, or in this particular case, just removing and, and replacing the fuel tank and fuel tank strainer. Nice and clean. Now, I didn't replace that seal because I already have, but here's the part number for the seal that goes on this. Hey, you guys, don't forget to join me. In my next video, I will be telling you the exact date and time I will go live for the first start of this vehicle since 2008. I'll see you guys then. Thanks again for watching.